So it's the zombie apocalypse. The world of Seattle kind of now knows about it. So where are we picking up? I don't think we're now? quite at apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a, a chicken box of zombieism than apocalypse. But um, so you're, so we're picking up three months later. Um, so people know about it. Seattle is now a walled city. They don't want um, they don't want people coming in. And they don't want people coming out. They don't want people coming in and they don't want zombies coming out. So that's where we uh, pick up season four. Um, uh, did I answer your question? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Rob mentioned that you might want to rely on someone to review the season of Charles and No, because I literally don't know anything about her. So yeah, we don't. We, I don't, we haven't gotten that. Uh, haven't gotten that far. But there is a person. I, there's nothing like I can specifically say about him. But there'll be a new. There'll be someone new. Sorry. Um, so Jason Doring will be returning, obviously. He will be returning. Yes. Okay. Will he be like a regular next season? Not a regular. No, he won't be a series regular. But he'll be in several episodes, and, and his and Chase Graves will play a, a a big, a prominent role in the, the story of the the season. Are we supposed to assume now that Liv's single again that maybe that might be a possible blossoming romance between Chase and Liv? Or is that the one night stand just gone and over? I don't know. <laughs> Anything's possible, right? Would you like to see that? I thought I was afraid that people were going to get so mad that they were going to be like seeing him, even though he's not playing that character, like just seeing him with another blonde, just like, <laughs> no! But, um, yeah, I was nervous. Now that everybody in Seattle and the world Your nails are fantastic. Oh, thank so you. So sorry. I was so distracted by how amazing they are. Sorry. That's okay. Um, now that the world knows about zombies, any chance we might see Liv's family back? Yes. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah. There's a very good chance of that. And then mom's going to be like, oh, God, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> No, I don't think that's possible. What do you like most about zombies? What do I like most about zombies? Well, that's the question I can answer for you. Here's what I think. For me, I've realized that in watching zombie movies first and then other like TV shows, there's this weird, like, oh my god, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. There's this weird, it's going to sound weird to say, like, wish fulfillment, but it's like, we want to think, not that like we could be in that situation, but let's just say we can, that we would rise to the occasion and it's a problem that we would be able to solve. So, like, one of my favorite things about, like, in the beginning of watching Walk the Walking Dead was after watching it then just debating like I would have never come down from the top of that RV. Like I would be covered in duct tape. Like just all the things that you think that you could do to survive. I feel like you're constantly in the position of the the, the survivors in that in those stories and in a in, in a way that you don't really have access to in that many other stories because they're just humans trying to survive and in and, and a with this freakish thing that happens and so there is this uh, wish fulfillment survival hero thing going on I think that's what I, I like about it um, that, yeah I think that's what I like about it <laughs> I also fear death so they're not being deaf <laughs> you're just staying alive is also uh, appealing <laughs> I have a fun question yay so if you were a zombie, or if there was a zombie to eat your brain, oh, what would shit. be their traits? What would be their traits? Like what would come out in them? From they the would, oh my god, they would curse a lot, they would share, overshare, um, they would uh, be self-deprecating, they would bust balls, and they'd be very volatile. Um, but they probably mostly talk a lot and be self-deprecating. Yeah, and they probably like to eat. And they'd watch some TV. <laughs> but yeah, they would. It would definitely be like talking, ball busting, and like cursing. Have you come up with any personalities for Liv yet for the next season? I'm so excited that we are doing Hockey Goon, which I, every year I like beg Rob to do Hockey Goon, and we're finally doing it, so I'm really excited about that. Um, we're also doing so far this year. There's a uh, like a like rom com brain, like a woman who's like obsessed with like romantic comedies, and then another fun one is a is kind of like a bitchy dowager, like uh, Lucille Bluth, kind of, which I think is a fun thing for for Liv to play. So like you know that with hockey goons so far like sounds like a really kind of exciting start to brains. So. So what are you guys planning for Blaine? It seems like he's been kind of 
ricocheting all over the place again. Oh no, Blaine's too. Well, now that we, now that his dad is here and he's a, oh, uh, you guys read the panel, right? So you know he's okay. So um, yeah, I mean he's gonna have a lot to deal with. His father is gonna be, he's gonna have to contend with his father and his father's growing power, and he also has this new kind of business. And he's also, uh, he is now like officially like gonna be like in charge of kind of like the black market in Seattle. So he's gonna be like a major, this, the zombies being out and about and known is gonna make him like a major player in the black market of um, brands and such. So it's nice to have him back as like a, a, one of the multitude of big bads and that I think we have. There's a lot of bad, so there's not. It, 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 it's all a big bad. <laughs> so, but it's nice to have Blaine back and being Blaine and fighting against Angus, which I think is a lot of fun. <laughs> that was okay. Did anyone have a How much does she? She's just amazing. I mean, it's just she's an endless. I mean, you saw just looking at that little trailer before, like just seeing all that she could do. I think her physical comedy is getting better and better too. But she just brings so she brings so much to it. She brings like depth and warmth and humor and subtlety, and she's so freaking endearing. I can hardly I can't take it. Like you just want to watch her and you want her to win. And um, yeah, she just brings all the charm and wit and beauty that is Rose McGregor. She's the loveliest person. For real. Like, I'm not even, it's weird. Like, you kind of are waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, this can't be it. And then it's just, she just gets lovelier and lovelier. She's boring, but not. It's great. But, yeah. Now, Ellie. <laughs> no, she's amazing too. That's the thing, is like, they're all really great people and they get along. They're like great friends, as I'm sure you've heard before, but they genuinely are. So it's really, it's great. Sorry, sorry, okay. Thanks, guys.